Angelina Ballerina. Pictures by Helen Craig and words by Catherine Hollibird. More than anything else in the world, Angelina loved to dance. She danced all the time and she danced everywhere. And often she was so busy dancing that she forgot about the other things she was supposed to be doing. Angelina's mother was always calling her, Angelina, it's time to straighten up your room now. Or please get ready for school now, Angelina. But Angelina never wanted to go to school. She never wanted to do anything but dance. One night, Angelina even danced in her dreams. And when she woke up in the morning, she knew that she was going to be a real ballerina someday. When Mrs. Mouseling called Angelina for breakfast, Angelina was standing on her bed doing curtsies. When it was time for school, Angelina was trying on her mother's hats and making sad and funny faces at herself in the mirror. You're going to be late again, Angelina, cried Mrs. Mouseling. But Angelina did not care. She skipped over rocks and practiced high leaps over the flower beds until she landed right in old Mrs. Hodgepodge's pansies and got a terrible scolding. At playtime, she twirled and spun across the playground so fast that none of the other children in her class could catch up with her, and they were all very cross. After school, she did a beautiful arabesque in the kitchen and knocked over a pitcher of milk and a plate of her mother's best cheddar cheese pies. Oh, Angelina, your dancing is nothing but a nuisance, exclaimed her mother. She sent Angelina straight upstairs to her room and went to have a talk with Mr. Mouseling. Mrs. Mouseling shook her head and said, I just don't know what to do about Angelina. Mr. Mouseling thought a while, and then he said, I think I may have an idea. That same afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. Mousling went out together before the shops closed. The next morning at breakfast, Angelina found a large box with her name on it. Inside the box was a pink ballet dress and a pair of pink ballet slippers. Angelina's parents smiled at her kindly. We think you are ready to take ballet lessons, they said. Angelina was so excited that she jumped straight up in the air and landed with one foot in her mother's sewing basket. The very next day, Angelina took her pink slippers and ballet dress and went to her first lesson at Miss Lily's Ballet School. There were nine other children in the class, and they all practiced curtsies and plies and ran around the room together just like fairies. Then they skipped and twirled about until it was time to go home. Congratulations, Angelina, said Miss Lily. You are a good little dancer, and if you work hard, you may grow up to be a real ballerina someday. Angelina ran all the way home to give her mother a big hug. I'm the happiest girl in the world today, she said. From that day on, Angelina came downstairs when her mother called her. She straightened up her room, and she went to school on time. Angelina was so busy dancing at Miss Lily's that she didn't need to dance at supper time or bedtime or on the way to school anymore. She went every day to her ballet lessons and worked very hard for many years. Until at last, she became the famous ballerina, Mademoiselle Angelina, and people came from far and wide to enjoy her lovely dancing. The end.